So many coaches ask me, Ben, can I run sessions from a public park or a neighborhood if I don't have a location? And I want to take the time in this video, answer this question, so it's easy for you to take the correct steps to securing a location. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a private park or a public park. You can use those places if you talk to the right people. You should never try to go to a public park or private park or private field or private facility without speaking to the person that runs it. So for you, that might be getting a permit in your city. That might be talking to the principal at a school. It doesn't matter. Too many coaches are getting caught doing their sessions at places that they could do it at, but they get caught because they don't talk to the right people. So it's better to talk to the right person first before you start using their space. Um, and I've seen this personally in my business. I ran into a big problem at the beginning of my business. I used to use this college field in my city. They had an unbelievable field and I would use their game field. And I was so naive and I used to start using their game field on Sunday mornings because I knew no one would be there. And then I got in trouble and I got in trouble at a terrible time when I was running a big clinic. And that was really embarrassing and it taught me a lesson. Don't ever try to use a location without talking to the right person. And that's what I did. I started to realize, well, I need to talk to people, make sure I can run my business from there. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna be looking over my shoulder every single time I run a session, which is not a good way to run your business. So whether it's a public park, private facility, does not matter. You want to talk to the right person. And don't just send them an email. I would call them or meet them in person, tell them what you do, try to see if there's a way you can add value to their organization or their facility uh, by you coming in, doing some free clinics or something like that in exchange for using their location. All right, now I'm out here at this park and I'm gonna just kind of take you with me here so you can see this. So I'm out here and if I was starting my business today, what I would do is I would go talk to the person and I'm gonna Google, I'm gonna go find their number and I'm gonna go find out who can I talk to if I'm going to use that space there. Now that space here behind me, it's not perfect. It's not perfect by any means. But if I talk to the right person, and I have clients and I can safely use this park, I'm gonna start my business, right? I'm not gonna let that hold me back. But if I don't talk to the right person and I just assume that I can go use that, right? That is not a good call for me because it will catch up to me and you know, either cops are gonna show up or uh, if I need a permit and I don't have one, that will backfire against me. So don't make that mistake. Hopefully this video helps you. If this is the first time watching one of our videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. At this point, we have over 650 free YouTube videos on this channel. This is for you if you want to make money coaching sports. I'll holler at you later.